Let's try to bound chlorine to sodium chloride. So let's look at how many of each atom we begin with. So starting with sodium, we have one sodium on the reactant side and we have one on the product side. And then for chlorine, we have two on the reactant side and two, on, or sorry, one on the product side. So we need to at least have two on each side for the chlorines because chlorine molecules always come as Cl2. We never have Cl1 in this case. So that means we must double the side on the product side. So we times that by two, and that means that we'll end up with two sodiums and two chlorines. So now we have the right number of chlorines on both sides, but we do not have the right number of sodiums, which means that we need one more sodium. So we need to multiply this by two and we end up with two sodiums. So then we have two sodiums and two chlorines on both sides. So that would be two Na plus Cl2 gives us two NaCl. That's how we balance this reaction.